cupcakes and sour cream. Yeah, I didn't think so either. But what if there were a way to make sour foods taste sweet? Sure, there is sugar or artificial sweetener, but rumor has it, this little berry, the miracle berry, makes sour foods taste sweet. Is it true? Let's find out. Inside the New York Botanical Garden, this unassuming plant hides a miraculous secret. The scientific name for this tropical shrub is Sensapalum dulcificum, but it's commonly known as miracle fruit or miracle berry. Nat Bledder, an ethnobotanist at the garden, has studied the berry's origins for years. He shares his knowledge in the form of taste-altering parties, where people gather to experience the miracle fruit, feasting on foods that would normally taste sour. Miracle fruit originates from tropical West Africa. The indigenous people would use the miracle fruit to make their staple foods taste much better. They eat these very sour fermented porridges and breads, so by having the miracle fruit first, they make these things taste much better and you could say even delicious. A group of adventurous tasters has been invited to the gardens to help us learn more about this unusual berry. We want to know how it makes foods taste. Does it work on anything you eat? And finally, what is the science behind this unusual reaction? Now it's time for the test. Nat has instructed all of the participants to let the berry linger in their mouths for a few minutes. For miracle fruit to work, it needs to coat the surface of the tongue. So what does the berry taste like? It's like kind of sparkling or something at the end, a little, I, I want to say citrusy or something. It's very bizarre. It changed from sort of very bland and a little sweet to being very sour at the tip of my tongue. Right. Oh, yeah? so. The miracle fruit on its own doesn't have a huge amount of taste. It's a little bit acidic at first, but it does start to sweeten in your mouth just as it makes lemons and limes taste sweet. It makes itself taste sweet after it's in your mouth for a while, and that's how you know that it's starting to work. Each of the test subjects now has one of these mysterious little berries in their mouth. When we come back, we'll serve our guests some tart, tart treats to find out if the so-called miracle fruit really makes sour foods taste sweet. We invited a group of subjects to experience the taste-altering properties of a very unique plant called miracle fruit. This West African berry supposedly has the power to make sour foods taste sweet. Each guest has let a berry rest in their mouth for a couple minutes. Now it's time to put it to the test. First, let's find out how the berry changes the taste of sour citrus. We used grapefruit and lemon wedges for the experiment. It's really good. It's sweet. Really sweet now. It's really sugary. It's like lemonade. Lemonade? Yeah. yeah. This is so, so good. Mm. It's really sweet. It tastes like grapefruit. You get all the grapefruit taste, but it's extra sweet. The grapefruit that I hate, now I think I love. <laughs> So the active substance in miracle fruit is called miraculin. And this compound docks with the sweet receptor on your tongue. And it doesn't start activating it until it's turned on by an acid. And once the acid, something sour hits it, it will sort of open up and start firing off that receptor, telling your brain that you have something sweet in your mouth when you only have something acidic. We've never met anyone who enjoys vinegar shots, so that's what we served up for the second taste test. The vinegar, uh, the Miracle Berry, adds a completely sweet flavor to it. It's, it's pretty unbelievable. My stomach's confused. My, yeah. I don't know yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on. <laughs> Just flew by the front of my mouth and in the back. It tastes like syrup, mm -hmm. though. And then it goes down in your throat, and, I can, and then I can you can feel, feel the vinegar yeah, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. The vinegar is sweet in their mouths, but they're still feeling the burn as it makes its way down. That's because the berry's effect is topical. It only works in the spots where it rested on the tongue. This is all happening just on your tongue. It's not altering your brain chemistry at all. It doesn't affect serotonin or any of those neurotransmitters. It's just on the surface of your tongue. 
We tested a whole spread of foods, and the Miracle Berry did not work on all of them. I didn't really think the olives changed at all. The olives sort of tasted the same. I hate blue cheese. Really? I'll go for it. All right, let's see what happens. Take a see if we can get a convert. <laughs> no. Don't ask. Don't ask. The blue cheese doesn't taste very different. The way the berry works isn't fully understood, but it is believed to have the greatest effect on highly acidic foods, like lemon or vinegar. So the change would be less dramatic in blue cheese than for a more acidic dairy product, like sour cream. Tastes like yogurt or... Yeah, like a vanilla yogurt. Cottage cheese. Almost could, like, be a dessert. Mm hmm Yeah, I like this. In the United States, Miracle Berry is mostly consumed as a novelty. But there has been interest in using it to develop sweet, low-calorie products for diabetics and for people who are trying to lose weight. Low-sugar desserts could be made more palatable by coating them in the berries extract. I've studied tons of plants, but Miracle Fruit is one of the most amazing ones that I've ever experienced. It's just such an immediate and drastic change that everyone can experience. This is really cool. I'd like to maybe get my hands on some and see what other flavors my foods are hiding at home. Hopefully my Miracle Berry has taken effect, because the only thing I have to wash down this sour cream cupcake is a glass of vinegar. Not bad. Now, where are those lemons?